Hello and welcome to this video. In the last video about Flutter backend, we talked about different platforms that offer backend services that you can use to build your Flutter application. In this video, we are going to talk about three popular platforms and we talk about them in more details. So first, we are going to talk about Upright. It's a cloud-based platform Actually, you can install AppRite locally on your machine as well. Generally, it is designed to be a cloud-based platform. And it offers a variety of services like user authentication, database management, and file storage. And one of the main features and differences between AppRite and other platforms is the focus on APIs which makes it well suited for developers to build APIs and integrate the APIs into their applications and also with other APIs like server-side validation, image and video manipulation, and so on. It is also designed to be platform agnostic, which means that it can be used with any platform or framework that can make HTTP requests. The second point is actually related to the first point because when you have the API which means you have a link to a service instead of being focused and integrated into a specific platform any platform or framework that can make HTTP requests they can use this API to request and receive the response for the specific service the second platform that we are talking about is the Superbase it is also a cloud-based platform. Again, you can download and install this locally as well. Generally, it is designed to be a cloud-based platform. It offers a variety of services just like AppRite and Firebase. But one of the main differences between this platform and others is that it is based on PostgreSQL, which is a database management system built on SQL. So it is an open source relational database management system, which means that it provides API for SQL that you can make queries and also an admin UI for interacting with your data, which makes it more powerful and flexible than the other two platforms. As you know, SQL database means that your data is stored and organized into tables. You can have multiple tables each table represents one entity. For example, one table for customers, one table for products, and then you can link these tables. And if your application is heavy on queries and makes complex queries, like for example, joining these two tables and getting all the information about a customer and all the products that he or she has bought and compile all those data and retrieve it for you. This makes SQL very powerful and flexible. Another service that Superbase offers is the real-time functionality out of the box. So you can get updates in real time in your application without setting up additional infrastructure. And if you are interested in Superbase database and other types and platforms that offer the database and different types of databases for Flutter, you can check the description of this video. I have a class that focuses specifically on Flutter databases, including Superbase. And the last platform that we talk about is the Firebase. I'm sure you know and heard and used Firebase. It is very popular and widely used. You need a Google account to access the Firebase console. It offers a variety of services, just like other platforms like user authentication, real-time database, and storage. But this platform completes the package and offers push notification, analytics, and machine learning. So it's a complete package if you want to develop an application. And regarding the database, Firebase has no SQL database, which makes it easy to use, but it is less powerful and flexible than Superbase. So is it possible that you use services like 
machine learning like analytics of Firebase and use database of Superbase, which is based on SQL? The answer is yes, you can do that. But in order to integrate the services together, like user authentication and database, in some point in your application, you need to integrate these two and you need these two services to talk to each other. So in that case, it's going to be a bit difficult because you have the authentication on Firebase and you have your database on Superbase, which is another platform. So you need to consider these factors. And how to choose between these platforms? For AppWrite, it is great for building cross-platform application and easy to use and the focus is on APIs. Superbase is great for building real-time and powerful apps and it is based on SQL database. And Firebase is great for building mobile and web application and it has a rich set of services and features. But at the end, choosing which platform depends on what you want to do in your application. What are the requirements and use cases of your application? So you need to consider these factors and based on these factors, you can choose your platform. Now we are going to see AppWrite and Superbase and how to get started in these platforms. We are not going to talk about Firebase because it is very popular and it has been talked about this platform in lots of videos. So now we are in the AppWrite website and in the installation section of the documentation. So inside the documentation, you can see that it mentions that AppWrite is a self-hosted backend server packaged as a set of Docker containers. And you can use AppWrite and install it on your local machine or a cloud provider of your choice. And the requirement is having one CPU core and two gigabytes of RAM and an operating system that supports Docker. So if you want to test AppWrite, you can install it locally on your machine. And here it shows you how to install the Docker, which is a requirement for installing AppWrite. In Unix, you need to run these commands. Unix means you can use this command in Linux and in Mac as well. For Windows, in command line and in PowerShell, you have these commands and also can run it on clouds. Because if you install the AppWrite locally, you can only test it with your local machine. You cannot deploy it and you cannot let users and your application accesses your database. Unless you create a hosting service locally and you open your system for users to connect to your application. But that needs additional technical skills. So when you want to develop an app and users download the application and they want to connect to the database, which is the app right, for example, or they need to sign in and they need to use the authentication section of AppWrite, you need to have AppWrite on the cloud so the users can connect to the AppWrite. Here in the documentation, two platforms and two providers are mentioned. One is DigitalOcean and one is Gitpod. So if you have DigitalOcean and Gitpod, I have DigitalOcean here. When you click on the click to install, you are going to be directed to this page. This is DigitalOcean website. In DigitalOcean, if you don't know, this is a website that offers you server, offers you a computer on the cloud based on number of CPUs and RAM, you are going to pay the fee. And inside the server, you can run your HTTP server, you can run your web server, Basically, you can create any type of server that you want. So here, the DigitalOcean has a marketplace. Inside the marketplace, you can find lots of ready-made images that instead of going through the installation, they have it prepackaged for you. 
and if you choose this package for example here upright it's going to automatically create the server and configure the server for you if we click on create upright droplet droplet is the name of the server in DigitalOcean so here this is your dashboard you can see that I have used DigitalOcean before and this is the estimated cost for me so far and if you don't have a project it's going to ask you to create a new project and then inside the project you are going to have this upright installed first you choose the region they recommend that you choose a region closest to your location and then if you want to change the data center inside the region you can do so and then inside the choose an image you can choose image you can search the marketplace and we have already selected upright and then you need to choose size you can go with basic and you can go for regular for example and if we go back this is the cheapest option but because it says that the size doesn't have enough disk space to support the image you selected so for upright we need more than 10 gigabyte so we cannot use this one so we are going to this configuration for our server which is one gigabyte one cpu 25 gigabyte of ssd and 1000 gigabyte of transfer so you click on this configuration and you can create SSH key so that you can connect to your server you can choose a name if you want and then you can create your droplet which is going to be six dollars per month after this you are going to have your upright automatically installed in your server which in digital ocean it is called droplet then you can let's go back to the documentation and then in the documentation you can check for the flutter for example how you can communicate with your server inside your application you can connect to the upright you can see the dashboard it is a graphical user interface you, so you don't need to type any commands you connect to the server it gives you an address and then you can manage different parts of upright like database authentication storage and so on if you don't want to use digital ocean you can use gitpod it's the same process just like digital ocean or you can google for upright on the cloud i found upright as a backend on google cloud so they have this they call it docker that contains upright when you choose it you will have the upright installed on your google cloud and you can use it but this one is going to be more expensive it's going to be 44.94 dollars per month so it's much more expensive another platform that you can use is heroku heroku is like digital ocean it provides servers and you can use this Heroku for installing upright another platform is vol TR if I'm pronouncing it correctly you can use this one as well Netlify is also a good one for all of these platforms you can go through each one and see the pricing if that's important for you and then you can decide which one you can start now let's go to Superbase. It's just like Upright. You can install this one locally. This is the documentation of Superbase. You can see self hosting in the documentation. There are several ways to use Superbase. One is to use it on cloud, and second one, Docker. Just like Upright, you can install it on your device. But for Upright, if we go to Upright website, if you click on get started it gives you step-by-step -step instruction on on what to do and how to install it if we go to superbase.com you can actually start your project and you can create an account and immediately you go to your superbase account basically superbase.com also offers the superbase platform on its website 
So once you create your account and you go to your account, you can create a project. Inside the project, you can see different services that is offered by Superbase. You can see as this project I'm working on, this one, it shows how many requests I have had on the database. So on the left, you can see table editor, SQL editor, database, authentication, storage, functions, and so on. For example, tables. In table editor, when you create a table, you can create new table. This is all using graphical user interface. So you don't need to type any commands. I have a table already created here as a sample. This table has three columns, ID that is auto-generated, title and description. Remember that Superbase is a SQL based database. So the data is formed and organized into tables. Next, SQL editor. Here you can run your query if, for example, you want to create a table using SQL commands. You can run your SQL commands here and it's going to create the table for you. Database, you can see your database here and different part and different functions of your database and you can manage the database. Authentication, you can configure the authentication and set it up here and same for storage and function. But when you set up your Superbase account and your project, you are going to need to connect to this server, to this project inside your application. So in project setting and inside APIs, you can see your project URL. This is the unique URL to your server and your account. And you can use this link to connect to your server and different services from your application. And you need to provide this public API key, which needs to be kept secret. So this is how you can start AppRight or Superbase. But keep in mind that this is just a very, very short introduction. Each section like the database, the authentication, storage and function, they need full attention and can be talked about thoroughly. So if you are interested, please let me know in the comments and you can check the class for Flutter databases, which includes the Superbase database in the video des description. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.